Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I blend out metallics. So I got my sealer in my gun. This color called for a G5 sealer color, which is kind of a medium gray. Blend it out as soft as you can to give your color a nice smooth surface to blend out over. got my base coat. I always check the gun to make sure my pattern is good. I spray at about 18 PSI for my base coat. For my sealer I was about 20 there. Here I am just tacking off the vehicle to make sure it's all dust free. Make sure my hose isn't jamming up anywhere and getting snagged. And here I am I'm just putting on a medium wet coat over top of the sealer, just trying to make sure that I get a nice even coat on. And just touching up some areas around the window too because we had to cut out the glass. Now these vehicles that I'm spraying here are typically done with waterborne paint so they do require a blower to help blow dry the paint. Here I am tacking it off again, getting any dust that's on the panels or any bit of sand piling that you can get from the blend and overspray of your paint. Second coat, I'm going for more coverage here. Going a little bit further than the first coat. Just really trying to blend it out as best I can, make sure that my metallics are laying down right and I don't have striping or mottling. Now this third coat that I'm doing, I actually mixed the remaining base coat that was in my gun 50-50 with wet bed. What wet bed is, is essentially clear base coat, but what I'm trying to do is make the base coat that's in my gun more transparent, which is essentially putting a blend within your cup, making it a lot easier to blend out your metallics and make sure that your color lays down really nice. I've noticed that mixing in a wet bed with my base helps get my metallics to sit down even better so that they're not flipping when they should be flopping. Everything is a lot more even. This is just a, a control coat, about 90% overlap, 15 psi. I'm just trying to fog it on. I don't want my panel to be wet looking. If it's wet looking, then my metallics are going to look goofy. This is just to orient all the metallics to be going in the right direction and also help blend out the color a bit. I've got my clear here. I'm going to be putting on two wet coats. It's very important to stay about four or five inches away. Spraying this at 22 psi with a Tecna gun. I'm getting about 75% overlap. You definitely want to get the right speed because you go too fast, it's going to look dry. You go too slow, you risk getting runs. Another thing is be careful when you are clear coating parts of a panel that has no base coat. The base coat kind of helps the clear stick to the car a little bit better. Or if there's no base coat there, then the clear tends to want to run on a guy. Now I mixed up a bunch of clear 
and here I'm just checking how much I have left because typically if I can just mix it one time then perfect uh, let's say I sprayed uh, 100 milliliters out and I have 50 remaining in the can I'm actually gonna mix 60 because I always mix however much I did the first coat plus 10 percent because I will be putting the second coat on a little bit heavier Now you can go panel by panel, sort of like how I was doing it here, or you can walk the whole car, sort of how I did it the first coat, where I just did every panel in one long stroke. I just look over the panel, do a few touch-ups here and there. It looks a little dry. It looks like there's a little bit of dirt. I'll even try and put more clear on it to hide some of the dust and dirt nibs. But yeah, that is how I blend out metallics using waterborne paint. Like, comment, and subscribe if you like the content. And I'll see you later.